The Christians talk an awful lot about hell, but they don't discuss heaven very much because it doesn't take very long to realize that your impossible promise of a posthumous paradise is just another Hotel California. Thanks, but no thanks. Frankly, I'd rather just die and stay dead completely. Now think about it. Every human wants to know these four things. Uh, how did I get here? Why am I here? How do I define good and evil? And what happens to me after death? Okay, there's only one worldview that answers it. No other worldview does. Absolutely wrong. Now, first of all, Christianity doesn't actually answer any of these questions. It only provides baseless speculation according to fairy tales that we know for certain did not really happen. Yet we're expected to believe it anyway and take it on faith just because you say so. No. Wrong answers are not answers at all. And we can't say that any of these excuses actually count as answers until we can show the truth of it and show that they are. But secondly, we can't show the truth of it because there isn't any. All religious beliefs fall into one of two categories, not evidently true and evidently not true. And most religious beliefs are based on frauds, falsehoods, and fallacies, and that includes this entire sermon that you're giving here. Accuracy and accountability are paramount in my worldview where they don't even matter at all in yours. And third, Christianity isn't the only worldview that pretends to answer these questions. Every religion makes that claim, and not just the Abrahamic faiths like Judaism, Islam, and Baha'i, all of which you simply ignored because they refute your point. Zoroastrianism answers each of these questions too, or it claims to, just like Christianity does, and so does Sikhism. Hinduism probably gives the best and most comprehensive answers because they're the oldest religion in continuous practice, so they've had the most practice. And they have the biggest volume of religion in that the Bhagavad Gita is but one chapter of the Mahabharata, the world's largest epic poem, and that's just one book out of a whole library of sacred scriptures dedicated to the Hindu pantheon. So no, Christianity is not the only worldview that answers these questions. In fact, it doesn't answer any of them at all.